Today I wanted to do a natural glam look. Um, this was one of the other requested videos that I got on my um, giveaway video. I had a few people ask me for a natural glam look, so this is kind of what I created. I wore something similar to this to my best friend's... Um, oh my god, there's a bug in my room. Sorry. To my best friend's um, birthday thing, we went out to the bars in downtown Seattle. Her older brother got us a party bus and stuff, and it was awesome. But, um, and I also put some fake lashes with this look. I normally do not wear fake lashes. They make me really nervous. I think it's because a lot of the times when I go out, I see girls with fake lashes on, and most of them look beautiful, and I'm like, oh man, those look so good. But then there's the few that, like, they're coming off, and nobody told them, and I'm like... What if mine come off and no one tells me? When I think of natural glam, I think of really just using more natural tones and, yeah, pretty much staying away from all the colors. But good thing is, I don't really do colored eyeshadow anyways, so that was easy for me. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. I'm sorry if I seem uninterested Alright, so I'm going to start by priming my eyelids using my Lorac Pro Primer and then I'm going to kind of cancel some of the discoloration out using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I would rather be at home all by myself Not in this room with people who don't even care about my well-being I don't dance, don't ask Then I will just set that using a skin colored powder. Next, I am taking salted caramel from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I am going to blend that into the crease as a transition color. I love this color. It's warm. It's orangey. It's everything I could ever want. Then I'm going to take Bad to the Bronze, um, the Maybelline Color Tattoo, and that is going to be my base for my um, lid color. I love this shadow as well. It adds a lot of shimmer to a look. Then for my lid, I'm going to use MAC All That Glitters, and I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and pack that all over. After blending out the lines, I'm going to take a more dense crease brush and I'm going to take the color Sable from my Lorac Pro Palette and I'm going to pack that onto the outer V of my eye. I'm not going to take it into the crease at all, I just want to get a dark outer corner. And I can't wait so we can break apart the Then taking the color Nude from the Lorac Pro Palette, I'm going to put that in my inner corner as a really intense highlight and I'm also going to do it under my brow. I'm going to take that dense crease brush and go into Sable one more time just to darken up the outer corner and then blend out all the harsh lines. And I will also touch up the All That Glitters on my lid just in case some of the pigmentation was lost. I'm then going to lightly line my eyelids because I am putting on lashes. These are the Ardell Glamour in 105. I think they're the Wispies, but I'm not 100% sure. And there you go. The eyes are finished. Now to start with the face, I'm taking my Mirabella Prime and I'm going to put that all over the place. My face has been pretty dry, so I needed something that was really going to act as a barrier. And I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in 109 Classic Tan, and I'm going to take my Flathead Kabuki and blend it all in. Next, taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30, I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, down my nose, on my chin, and on my forehead. And tickling, tickling, <laughs> taking my Maybelline Fit Me Powder and Natural Beige, I'm just going to set that underneath my eyes using a little brush, and then I'm going to just put all over my face using my e.l.f. Uh, complexion brush, I think is what it's called. It's my favorite. Using my NYX contour palette, I'm going to take the two darkest shades and using a retractable kabuki brush, I'm going to start contouring. 
First I'm going to carve out my cheekbones and then you will see me carve out my nose and also along my jawline and then I'll also blend it up around my forehead because lord knows I got a big old forehead. favorite blush is NYX Terracotta and Elf in Rich Rose and I'm going to just dust that on my cheeks. It's a pretty natural glow with an orangey tone to it with the terracotta. And then I'm going to highlight using the Milani Bella Eyes and Bella Sand. It is my favorite. Then taking that black liquid liner I am going to try and cover up some of the um, tracks from the eyelashes and I'm just going to go over the top of those and then I'm going to start blending in my natural lashes with the fake ones using mascara. Next, taking salted caramel and sable, I'm going to dust that underneath my lower lash line. And then I am also going to take NYX Angel Food Cake and L'Oreal 800 Ferris Nude on my lips. That is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.